All right, so here we go. We're going to drill the holes in the motor cover without having to disassemble the motor. And the way we're gonna accomplish this is first we're gonna mark where we want the holes. So we're gonna lay them out. And from the edge of the inner cover here, um, we're gonna measure how far away from the inner cover we want that. The inner cover lands just inside of the inner race. And we want the hole to break out just right about at where the seal is. So, well, we'll say about 330 thousandths from the edge. So you take your calipers, lock them, and then hold them onto here so that they'll scribe and then rotate your motor and you scribe your circle uh, on the radius, on the diameter where you want to actually drill. Next, we're gonna scribe the cross lines and we're gonna line up to all of the bolt hole pattern around the outside for simplicity. And so you take your punch, your scribe tool, whatever you're using, uh, and it's pretty easy if you lay it across the top of the hanger and then just rotate until there's bolts in line and scribe your mark, top and bottom, and then rotate to the next set of bolts. So that's four, six, eight, 10, and we're doing 12 holes. You could do six holes. You could do whatever you want. But if you're doing it this way, it's so easy at this point. Might as well do the 12 holes. So there's that. Next, you need a hammer. And just make yourself a little punch prick. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, next we're gonna take this uh, piece of shim. I'm using a forty thousandths piece of shim stock and lay it underneath where your drill is gonna break out and hit that hardened steel shim stock and it won't cut through the shim stock. So we're gonna, we're gonna just use a 1 8 inch drill bit. You could go as big as 3 16 probably be no problem. And we're gonna use a little bit of aluminum cutting oil. This stuff, anion cutting fluid for aluminum. And just go around. High, uh, high speed as your drill will do. Find your punch mark. And you can see when I break through, I'm just hitting this behind it so it doesn't go through into the bearing. That's super important. <laughs> Get a little more cutting oil. And repeat. And then do the other side, vacuum everything off, clean as well as you can. And now your Gotway bearing is waterproof. Yep, and you're going just at a little bit of an angle. Right? Uh, don't, yeah, you don't have to. Um, I, I feel like the angle helps water fling out of the holes. Okay. But it's not you know, super necessary. I just like to do it. <laughs> 